Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Psychonauts. Oh, so that's what the other side of the brain looks like. Hey, of course we have to have our special guest speaker. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, this is Psychonauts. Man, she says hi. Hey, don't. <laughs> she's trying to attack the mic. Okay. Uh, but yeah, start new game. The human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter, a three pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. Oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psychonaut, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, Nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch, I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests, Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Bodello. Whoa. Light monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. Is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Get, get in. Ugh. My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. Mm. But everybody calls me Raz. Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born 
with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you, and your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Woohoo! Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once kind of. But now I wear this special hat. Want to try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. How's that for a game start, huh? Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to use the keyboard. Yeah, sure, why not? Go to sleep already. Settle down in here! Big day tomorrow! I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot! I'm the early bird, and you're the worms. Got it? Now, lights out! Right. Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Huh? Look over that way if you will. What, no buzzer? Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a Psy challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh-huh. Now look up for me if you will. Okay. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a side core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up, and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? Yeah. That guy looks so familiar. I wonder why. Blah, 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 journal, blah, 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 options, exit. Hey, Raz! Hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic braining! Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever! Woohoo! Yeah. 
It's funny because it's a combination of brain and training. I'm telling you, I'm no. I would never do that. I could never kill everyone. Oh, hi, Raz. Squirrel trouble? They're liars and all. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah, I'll meet you up there. As soon as I get these guys to shut up. Okay, you do that then. Wow. Yep, and as you can see, there's a few uh, cards laying around, but meow. But I'm not going to uh, pick those up until I get uh, a few more of the uh, psychic abilities. That way, I can grab them all in one go. So, you're dating Elka now. Does that mean we won't hang out as much? Shoot, I reckon things ain't gonna change one bit. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna... Hey, you're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Come on, James. Come. On. Yeah. Looks like that plan's out the window already. Let's see, anybody else to, uh... Ah, there we go. And by worst, did you possibly mean the best? Because that's what I was thinking. No, I meant worst, as in I can't even believe we're friends, it's so bad. Look deeply into your heart, Phoebe. And I think you'll find that even you believe the Levitators is pretty much the dopest name a band could ever have. Blah, 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 Citanium. The Levitators? Are we some sort of cover band that only plays graduation ceremonies for motivational seminars? Lol. Let me see if I can... Yeah, there we go. Do not want to get that card by accident. Hey, Maloof. At least I think that's his name. You, new boy. Seen bear lurking in woods? Nope. Was it you? Giant, hairless bear? Um, nope. In Russia, bears much smaller. Also more hair. Less lurking. Always eager to wrestle. This one, hide and run. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot lurk forever, bear. He really wants that bear. Let's see. That is a sign. Can't go that way yet anyways. Can't go up that way. Ha! Indeed. The Whispering Rockers. Oh, uh, what? That's my band name idea. <laughs> Why aren't you guys in Coach Oleander's class? Are you kidding? A kid got killed in that class last year. I heard it was a bunch of kids, Phoebe. Well, I heard it was a bunch of blind kids, and the coach threw them off a cliff. Yeah, because they were late for class. You'd better hurry, kid. Now, where were we, Quinn? Levitators. Yeah, I don't believe that. Whoa, almost grabbed it. Almost grabbed it. Whew, that was close. <sighs> I feel like I'm about to cough, but I'll try to hold it in. <sighs> hate coughing. Especially when I'm trying to record. Come on, I wanna... Eh. No! Okay, bad idea. Oh. Okay, back up. Don't want to grab the card. Boing. Boing. Yeah, I was trying to slide on that rail, but uh, I'll worry about that some other time. Hey, where are you going, Maloof? Shh, I snuck out. That class is a death trap for crazy people. Oh, that's Listen, Maloof. The coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. 
Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late! Bobby! Ah! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service! Cough it up, my loser. <coughs> You'll be coughing up bloody tears. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> Benny, put this kid's death on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah, we'll settle this on the battlefield. Bad teeth. Journal, blah blah, save, blah, load, blah, options, map, journal. What the hell? They see Noel be in a trance while they astrally project themselves into the coach's psyche, which is awesome. What the hell is he doing? Uh huh. <coughs> Lol. Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. Whoops. Sorry. Huh? How'd she get out? Hey, Chloe. What are you doing? The coach uses this to broadcast his thoughts across the camp. I think I can tune it to reach my people in space. People in space? Oh, she looks rather human to me, except for the except for the uh, helmet. Coach Oleander, I'm reporting for basic braining. Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind. And you will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. It won't be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? Mmm... Yeah, I'm pretty much ready. I'm ready, sir. Well then... You're late, soldier! Now get in here and give me 20! 